Valley Conference, welcome you to Shea Stadium for tonight's Missouri Valley Conference Men's Soccer Championship quarterfinal match between the Braves of Bradley and the Purple Aces of Evansville. John Keeper. Got my sounder saved. There you go, Logan. Hit her. Hurt. Good Logan. Back when it was 0 0 in this match, Logan Ketterer makes a really big save because it's a different game if Evansville takes an early lead. Instead, look at that big save. He gets off his line quickly, he smothers it, and then about three minutes later, Bradley goes up and gets the go-ahead goal, and, and it is a momentum shift when a goalkeeper comes up with a big save like that. And the Braves will run this one down. Ketterer drives this one to the midfield. Go ahead. Very good clearance. Seconds of this opening 45 minutes of play it will be the Bradley Braves, the sixth seed, holding on to a 1-0 lead over the third seed, Evansville Purple Aces, Tykeo. Well, Bradley has to give themselves credit for effort and really team defense, swarming defense many times, frustrating the Purple Aces. All right, time now to check in with the head coach of the Bradley Braves, Mr. Jim DeRose joins us right now. It's brought to you by Casey's General Store. And coach, one goal leading your assessment in the opening 45. Yeah, I thought we got off on the counter a few times, which helped us. When we've been able to get the ball down and connect a few, we've been rewarded. You know, obviously we want to get the ball wide. Um, that's where we're at our best, and uh, that's where the goal came from. So that's what we'll do. But uh, they're sending a lot of players forward right now, so we're going to have to deal with that. Jim, your goalkeeper made it. Logan Ketterer made yeah. a big stop in the early going. It seemed to lift your team. It really did. You know, we talked a lot about it. You know, as you know, Ty, sometimes a goalkeeper has to be the covering defender especially against a team that likes to play a lot of one threes and little slip balls. And, and uh, he read it perfectly and came out and, and played as a nice second defender there in cover. Jim, always appreciate the time. Thanks so much. Best of luck in the second half, buddy. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. That is Jim DeRose, the head coach of the Bradley Braves. And again, let's take a look at uh, some of the highlights in the opening half. And right out of the box, Mike Jacobs loses one of his players. Yeah, nasty challenge here. The yellow card given it almost it could have been a red is as hard as the Bradley player came in and got there late. Here's a big chance for Evangel in the early going. Logan Ketterer gets off his line, makes a really big save, and I think changed the momentum of this game because then coming forward, Olsen, real good cross all the way to the back post. Okeke wins the header and then sliding across to Jason Lesh to get credit for the goal. And it's good attacking play from the flanks by the Bradley Braves. I think is very frustrated. They looked dangerous many times, streaming through midfield, strong runs, good attacking players, getting crosses in, but Bradley hung tough, really battled, and I, it's a team that fights for the guy next to him, the guy next to him tonight, and many times it's a swarm defense, but it's been effective. Bradley! There you go, Keith. Morgan. 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 You see the Purple Aces getting set to check in, and we will have a corner here after this play for Bradley. Yeah, Olsen helped create the first goal, and look at this one, right into Lockwood's head. He can't quite get enough behind it, but there was another stab at it at the back post. Uh-oh. Get out of there! Yeah. Keep. Shot by. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. On the carry. Now Macias, trying to get it outside to Terry. And nice coverage there on the defending end by Logan Ketterer. Ketterer does read the play pretty well. He's back backstopping his back four pretty well, you know, covering that space in behind them when he needs to. Come on, let's go! Oh, oh, Logan. Oh, Logan. Put their foot on the ball. Romero with the drive there, trying to get it over to Hedarovic, and he gets a header, and boy, I'll tell you what, that was difficult for Ketterer, and he handled it, and went over the crossbar, and we'll get another corner 
for Evansville. That shot really looked more a little bit more innocent than what it wound up being. Well, there, there was quality on that pass by Romero from, from the center circle all the way to the back post. And on the corner, they'll tap it back to Romero. Now driving it back in, and the header by McGrath will go wide, and Ketterer will handle it. It was another good long pass, a long drive into the box by Romero. Now Ketterer's down. No! He's got it. That more play from That's a good the outside. Now they get it on the cross. Hedarevich is there with the shot. Oh, and Ketterer just got a fingernail on it. But wow. That's, that's some quality combination play with the third pass on a diagonal into the corner to set up the cross and uh, a decent run through the box. Not enough on the shot, though, uh, as, as you'll see here, but really good ball into the corner, a good driven cross. Hyderovic gets to it, doesn't get enough on it. A little bit more force. Hodges here on the carry. Hodges with a blast. Oh, ho, ho, Ketterer just got on to that one and will get another corner kick for Evansville. And that ball must have been knuckling or the wind may have been playing tricks with it because it, it looked for a second as if Ketterer was not going to cover it. Hedarevich again will handle the corner. And aggressively, Ketterer cuts that one off from Gonzalez who was trying to come in on a header yeah that's advantage being played that was clearly a foul on the goalkeeper. Romero drive headed up Ketterer again with the stop not a Hedarevich gap closing three red jerseys and the foul is called on the Bradley Braves now we have some pushing and shoving going on and Romero goes down and more shoving by Gonzalez as this thing has gotten out of control. The scrum got him away from the referee. Yeah, Macias was going to get himself in some big trouble. You get to see, and there's a big shove by Gonzalez as well. And that's He's smart. Yeah, and Gonzalez gets the yellow. He does get a yellow shove. card. Yeah, that was a two-arm shove right from the referee. What, what does he want? Macias on the attack. Macias left hand foot. And it is saved by Ketterer, and Logan has been challenged a number of times here in the second half. That one was on target, and that one was knuckling. Underway at 1 o'clock Central Time. That's this Sunday, the MVC Men's Soccer Championship game on ESPN3. And again, Ketterer very aggressive in collecting that one as we're down to 745 and counting half left long kick and Ketterer very aggressively will grab it not only that really good communication between Letterer and his back line they knew he's coming they're trying to hold off any pressure from Evansville and they do the right thing and, and coordinated very well between the goalkeeper and his defenders out in front of him well, if you're SIU Edwardsville, you kind of like the look of this. How many bruises and hits that the Bradley guys have taken if they do get through this uh, as the number two finisher in the conference in the regular season? The, the bye to SIU the Edwardsville. It's a night's nice rest for them. As we hit the 60-second mark, there's Olsen. He's got an open. His shot right on. Teppen makes the save. A tremendous amount of fight and intensity by both teams. I mean, this was a battle end-to-end, -end, every inch of space on this field. But uh, you know, Bradley got the goal, so now they had something to defend. And they fought, and they, they stayed organized. They didn't panic. Uh, their goalkeeper, Logan Ketterer, did the job. Coming up on Friday, of course, we have the two top seeds who are well rested heading into Friday's They do. They don't have the bangs and bruises uh, like Loyola and Bradley definitely has from this match. But Bradley playing at home, I mean, they, they, they rise to the occasion. So it's going to be a big challenge for SIU Edwardsville. And I think Missouri State, so strong defensively, uh, it's going to be a, a tough nut for Loyola.
Bradley wins it by a score of one to nothing as they knock off third seed Evansville.